y'all. Welcome back, or welcome if you're new. So on this day, we're going to be deep cleaning in my living room, and I am taking all of the decor out, all of the little knick-knack stuff is coming out, and I'm going to try to start with just a clean slate because I don't want to miss any surface if I can help it. I also have a new table of sorts um, to move in here. I'm not sure at this point where it's going to go, but by the time that I do figure out where I want it to go and get it there and get it decorated, it looks great. Um, it is a sewing table. It does have a very, very old sewing machine inside of it, and you will see it here shortly. It's beautiful. It's um, been very well used, and you can see this. Um, it's an antique. Back when my husband bought me my hope chest that is in my bedroom for my birthday, um, he also purchased this, but it's just kind of been sitting to the side and hasn't been used or placed anywhere, given a home or anything like that. So I have literally been taking all of this time from the time that I got the sewing table up till now to try to figure out where I wanted to place this table um, where I thought that it would look the best at because I, I know it's not gonna be used. I knew it wasn't gonna be used whenever he brought it home. Um, although we did check it out and everything and it does still work, which is magnificent, but um, we're not really gonna be using it because like I said, it is very, very old. It's very, very um, worn and it's been well used and you'll see all of this, like I said. But um, before we get to all of that, I want a clean slate. Like I said, to start off, I need to move some things around in here and I really want to get some things cleaned up. It's been a while since I cleaned up. I didn't even clean it deep, deep clean it like I wanted whenever I decorate it for fall. So I'm just going to pull everything out, get it good and clean, and I'm going to redecorate. I'm also going to try to minimize some of my decorations in here, um, but at the same time, kind of spread them out. That way it doesn't look kind of gaudy and tacky and well, you guys know. So, yeah, let's get started. You know I want you close. Maybe hold your hand a little while. Somehow I know you're going to be the girl. So, anytime that I move the couch or try to clean under it, there's always toys. I got to say, though, I am surprised that there's not more than what there was, because um, there usually is. And around this time is also whenever I start to get a little bit warm, I have to go pull my hair back, of course. Um, it started out kind of chilly on this morning. Our mornings have been getting uh, definitely fall-like. It's definitely feeling like fall, but by around noon, it starts to warm up. And for those of you that don't know, I live in Kentucky and we experience all four seasons. And so, yeah, definitely feeling like fall. So, yeah, I had to go and pull my hair back um, out of my face and, you know, just kind of out of the way. That way I could get this clean and done. And so, yeah, really, really shocked that there wasn't more toys back here. But then again, now that I think about it, it seems like it's not been that long ago since I cleaned all the toys out from under the couch. So, yeah, I guess in a way, not really very surprising, but I'm going to get all these picked up and then I'm going to get it vacuumed and I don't show it, but I do come across a um, spider body and oh my gosh, that thing was so huge under the couch. Um, it You don't really actually see it yet, but once I move the couch more to where you can see the area rug under it, you'll that's where I find it, and oh my gosh, it was so huge. We have such an issue with wolf spiders. Not just me, my neighbors do too. We live in a very, very wooded area, and it just, I guess, comes with the territory. I'm not sure, but I've been bit by wolf spiders, and I've had them run across my feet, and they are massive, some of the ones that I've seen around here. Mercy, and I do not like spiders. I'm I don't have a massive fear of them, but I'm not, you know, exactly crazy about them. So, yeah, I find one and um, dispose of it. Anyway, let's get behind this down, uh, 
this couch cleaned out because this is where I'm going to put the table. I'll end up calling my own. We ride around in style. Sleeves rolled up, glasses on. And then you make that style and my heart starts racing when I'm with you. This is the sewing table and like I said it is gorgeous and very very old and I did Google it to make sure but it is okay for me to use the hardwood cleaner by Jaws so that's what I'm using to clean this off I wanted to make sure that I didn't peel any kind of wood or finish off that is on here because it is very 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 well used you can tell it and I don't want any wood pieces flaking off or chipping off or any of the finish peeling off or anything like that. I don't want anything to happen to it more than what has already happened. And I do push the couch back up against it. I don't want the kids trying to get behind the couch playing or anything like that. I just want it sitting there for looks because like I said this is very very old. So you all of the products that I'm using on this day are Jaws. Um, and for those of you that are not familiar with Jaws, that is Just Add Water System. It's a great uh, cleaning system. Um, it's great for the environment. The cleaners themselves are um, kids safe, pets safe. I mean, they are great. Look into them. I highly recommend them. Today's video is not sponsored or anything like that. Um, I just want to let you guys know what I am cleaning with on this day. I'm using the glass cleaner for the two glass end tables. And then I'm also going to be using the multi-surface cleaner for the mantle and for the other um, little white entryway table. It's not exactly white. It's more light, light gray, but it looks white on camera. Um, it's the one that I painted way back when. Um, but I'm using that on the mantle, the multi-surface cleaner on the mantle and the entryway table. Um, and like I said, they're all Jaws cleaners.
under my skin I just wanna wake up in my bed alone Oh no, I don't wanna This little wooden bench, I've talked about it before. It's very sentimental to me. It belonged to my ex-mother-in-law. Um, she's no longer with us. And um, it holds great sentimental value. I'm sure you guys can understand. I do look forward to one day my grandsons being able to play on this. It did belong to my oldest two's biological dad's mom. So, like I said, great sentimental value. I was very close with her. She was like another mom, mom to me. So, yeah. Um, but I love the way that I eventually ended up getting this bench decorated. I think it looked turned out looking great. And I love how everything is like pulled in together. I know I've lost space by doing that, by, by placing the sewing table behind the couch and having to pull the couch in some. But it's also coming into the cozy months. And, you know, it's all about coziness now. So I feel like it made the living room a lot more cozy. Um, I think everything turns out looking great. I love the way it turns out. The boys love it. My husband hasn't got home quite yet to be able to see it, so I'm confident he's going to love it, though, whenever he does get home to see it. But um, that also brings us to the end of the video, and I really hope you guys have enjoyed this day's video. I hope you all were able to get some motivation to get some deep cleaning done in your living room or any room for that matter. It doesn't have to be the living room, but I just really hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I think that's got it till next time. Love y'all. Stay safe. In someone else's arms I will close my door Cause I need my time Wanna speak so loud Even though I hide Like I'm hypnotized Can't get out of here You don't know me I just need my time Yeah But they say Sweet and you care about my night But I'm sobering up in this moment's past Oh yeah, I don't wanna be tucked in someone else's arms Cause my heart just broke and I need my time Wanna speak so loud even though I hide Like I'm hypnotized, can't get out of i So long